at a rock and wondered how it came to be? The story begins about 4.5 billion years ago, as gas and dust come together to form the rocks that make up our planet. Created from elements forged far off in the galaxy, rocks really are the stuff of stars. And so are we. Rocks, and the minerals they're made of, tell us the story of our planet. Look closely. Atoms are the building blocks of all matter. Combined, atoms form molecules. Minerals are made up of billions of billions of molecules, which are often arranged in crystal structures. Minerals can crystallise from semi-molten rock called magma. When magma cools and solidifies, it forms igneous rocks, one of the three main rock types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Granite is an intrusive igneous rock, commonly found on the Earth's continents. It has large crystals because it cools slowly, deep below the Earth's surface. When a volcano erupts, lava cools quickly to form small crystals, creating extrusive igneous rock, like basalt. Basalt makes up much of the ocean floor and also most of the moon. Over time, rocks are broken down by weathering effects like water, wind, heat or ice. Small fragments known as sediments wash into lakes, rivers and the sea. Here, layers of sediments compact and cement together over millions of years to form sedimentary rocks, like sandstone. Limestone is another kind of sedimentary rock. It can form from the remains of marine organisms or from chemical reactions within sediments. Fossils in limestone are an amazing record of the past, revealing clues to changes of climate and the extinction of life forms throughout the Earth's history. Did you know the ground beneath your feet is constantly moving? The continents and oceanic crust are pushing, pulling and sliding in a process known as plate tectonics. This heats and squeezes rocks, changing their form. Minerals realign or recrystallize to form metamorphic rocks. Slate, used in roof tiles, and marble are examples of metamorphic rocks originally laid down as shale and limestone. The way rocks and minerals change gives us a guide to their origin. A rock's size and shape and the colour and arrangement of its minerals help geologists distinguish between different types of rocks. Many layers of rocks create a section like this. With practice, you can read a rock section like the pages of a history book that goes back billions of years almost to the beginning of the Earth's history.